Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. I'm with the company of Fiddler on the Roof as they record their new cast album for Broadway Records. Enjoy. We are here at MSR Studios. Uh, it's February 8th, 2016, and we are doing the 2016 Fiddler on the Roof cast recording. Wait, how exciting is that? I'm unbelievably thrilled. Yeah. Okay, I've seen your show twice already. I think I told you this is the first Broadway show that I ever saw. Oh, I saw uh, Herschel Minardi, I saw Harry yeah. Goss. I have a whole history with this. This is so beautiful. What is it like living in the world of Fiddler and taking on this incredible role? Well, uh, it is it is an honor to uh, assume the role, I'll be honest with you, with all those great people that came before me. Um, you know, and I have them with me, sort of in a backpack with me all the time. And it's an honor to be in that beautiful theater, the Broadway theater, where Ethel Merman sang Rose's Turn every night. I mean, things like that, they get to you. And believe me, I think about all those people when I'm on stage sometimes. You know, I feel them with me. I feel the spirits of all the people before me and the responsibility to do a good job every single night and to care and to listen and to do all the right things for all the people who've never seen the show before. We have a lot of young people. Our matinees are filled with uh, grandparents bringing their grandchildren to see the show and we hear them react to things that, you know, we, you know, didn't expect them to react to. And it's, it's beautiful. You hear a little kid go, <gasps> Or, or start, or almost, and people start, older people start to cry in the audience. You hear all that and you feel it, and it really inspires you. Then you love me. I suppose I do. And I suppose I love you too. It doesn't change a thing. But even so, after 25 years, I've been flying out of markers. What's that? I said I've been flying out of markers. You're so used to doing this on stage with Danny. Yeah, because my key to being able to sing is to act with Danny. Yeah. That's the key. Uh, I hope other people who are aspiring singers have such a good, uh, you know, route to uh, to learning to sing because it's it's just all about the acting part for sure. me. So without that, I find it very challenging. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just being a part of this world. The last time you and I spoke was opening night. Yeah. The, the audience that comes to the show is amazing because it's been people who've seen Fiddler before. Yeah bringing their family and all these little kids. I mean, yeah. it's been a whole new audience. What yeah. is that like for you? Well, that has been the most moving part. And having people who you know um, intimately or, or don't know at all just crying and really feeling this profound sense of, of uh, grief and, and hope for, you know, the, the present refugees, but also grief for the, what, what people go through when they're forced out of their country and and uh, and, and the, all the issues related to the children. Just It, it really it, it, it really affects people in a way that they get very intimate with you. They want to touch you and talk to you. So here we are. I call you the daughters and sisters of Anatevka. That's oh, us! That's yeah. us! We're so happy to be here. I love how you travel in a pack. We do. We we're do. like a coven. We're like That's wolves. what Bart calls like us. Wolves. Yeah. A pack of Bart wolves. calls us the coven because we're when cat. we were rehearsing, we were all dressed in black, <laughs> rehearsal skirts and black tops and we look like yes. witches so <laughs> you're like telling a serious story and the two of us are like cat that's exactly how our relationship works <laughs> always <laughs> okay you recorded already i love it we're done. tell me what it was like in there well i've been i've been awake since about six in the morning i flew i flew to london and back <laughs> and then i recorded far from the home i love at 9 30. <laughs> so i'm feeling like we're proud I, of wonder you. woman we're proud of we're you. Proud and of we've you. done all the. we're so proud of you I'm, I'm so it. proud of you. Now, if 
everything, and then we just did Matchmaker. We just and did Matchmaker, well. and it was great. It was uh, it was it was hard to be physically separated, but actually, but actually, I have to say, I think it was also a testament to how close we are because yep. it still felt so fresh and real. And I think you're really going to hear a, a radio version of the performance. Yeah, because you were in a booth by yourself, right? I was. I was. I was separated from them. See, I could see. I could see I about this much of her already face. disowned. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was going to say they're prepping for the next yeah. section. Yeah. Of of Fiedka. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, what was it like for you? I mean, to be a part of this incredible cast recording, Sheldon Harnick's in there. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I mean, to already be in, to be to be starring in Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway with these girls is a dream come true. But totally. now to be a part of the tradition in a way that's going to last forever, <laughs> like the, the tradition yeah. of tradition. Fiddler, is I mean, like. How lucky are we? Like so lucky. I think there's something also about being a part of a cast album that for the people within the actual cast, it's this moment, it's this preserved, yep. archived thing of a memory in time, a moment totally. in time that will live forever. And um, and then be be part of joining the links of all these fiddler productions that we get to now so proudly be able to share with the world. And to do it with like these two ladies exactly. and Danny and to have Sheldon there just telling us how great he thought it was. Yeah. And, you know, that was pretty cool. It's, it's you know these dreams. Dream come true they do come true so here we are you've already recorded your big number I know it's a little it's it's a little funny like that's the one that's gonna be played long after we're all gone so it's a little like it's a very surreal moment absolutely tell me what it's been like here being here today you know recording a yeah. new beautiful cast recording of Fiddler I've just been geeking out ever since we got the announcement that we're doing this um, part of my preparation was going on YouTube and watching behind the scenes of all the Broadway cast recordings that have happened before this just like getting into the right mindset and just completely nerding out about the whole thing it's just so huge in the part of this show a fiddler doing this show it's a huge hit I mean you're touching a new audience people have seen the show before what that means to you I mean it's um, it's an incredible thing I, I what I love is seeing people in the in the front rows because that's pretty much as far as we can see but from the moment tradition begins we see faces just in awe and um, I think that's 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 our goal is to induce awe, and it's what I feel for this musical. It's what I feel for my fellow castmates, uh, and it's what I feel about this whole experience. So I'm glad that a lot of that is being translated into the audience. Today is the coolest because I get to sing on the newest Fiddler Broadway cast recording as for Masera, which is so awesome for me because they're really letting me wail and belt. Like, um, it's never been done before on any cast album with Fiddler, and which is also why I call her Dead Alphaba, so. So what does today mean to you being here? Um, it's, it's thrilling to be a part of this history, and um, you know, Sheldon's here, and uh, it's, it's surreal, and uh, and wonderful. I feel very fortunate. There are a lot of decisions to be made about it. what exactly we're going to record, you know, how much dialogue, how many pieces of incidental music, whether we want to shorten the dancing, so that the experience of listening to the record is compact. So you don't feel like you're listening to something extra, but you really get a sense of the show at the same time. This was so exciting. We've been here since the morning listening to all these beautiful playbacks. I mean, it sounds incredible. Thank you. I can't really tell completely from where I am. I'm listening to various things through the headphones and also live. But I really trust David and Van in the booth to tell me if we need to do something differently. For you. Um, uh, it's always a little bit of a celebration. It's kind of fun day. Uh, we're out of school. We're out of the theater. We're all together in a new situation. But the, the show's still going on, be, meaning we're recording it. Um, and it's actually kind of a small, minor, joyful party. 